Hi everybody, uh, Q&A time again. Uh, we've had lots of questions posed, so we're going to go uh, through some of those now and uh, try and give you the information which you're all asking for. So uh, I'm going to crack straight on. So uh, Graeme has asked uh, about the Caravel, uh, so the Caravel 6.1. Can it carry four push bikes in the back of the vehicle uh, and still have room for two rear passengers? Uh, well, somebody who's had lots of push bikes in the back of a Caravelle before, that is something you can definitely do. Generally speaking, the Caravelle, as you probably see, we've done a video on it quite a long time ago. It's a seven-seater, uh, so in its standard format, you've got a three-seat bench on the back and two seats. Uh, really, you need to push all of that right as far forward as you can, uh, and then you still can get bikes uh, in the back of there as well, then, because you're extending your boot space uh, for those bikes that's in there. Uh, to make it even better, really, for your, for your situation, it sounds like, you'd be better off taking your two front seats out to just leave your bench seat and then that can go right far forward and you've got lots and lots of room in there then uh, to, uh, to do that. So I hope that answers that question for you. So uh, Luke's asked about the beach, uh, California beach. Uh, is it uh, in the UK anymore? Question mark. Uh, some of you might remember a little while ago, uh, we went to Dusseldorf uh, and the new beach, the two different variations and we had a look at them uh, from back from there. But uh, uh, the UK, uh, with the introduction of the 6.1 uh, decided that the beach wasn't the way they were going uh, so the beach is actually dropped in the UK it's no longer supplied here at all um, and the coast uh, was brought in as a replacement um, now those three models as you may or may not know were available in Germany uh, as they are at the moment uh, and continue to be uh, and this is something that Volkswagen said they were always going to be reviewing and see how things went uh, but as we stand currently at the moment the beach is only available in Europe uh, and other countries as well actually I've just been informed recently uh, they're starting to ship the beach to Australia uh, I think they've got 30 units uh, going into Australia uh, so thanks for that question Luke Alan's asked about the air conditioning in the California Grand now we're in a California Grand now and we'll, we'll show you the roof vent that's in here in a moment so uh, but he's asking whether um, it affects the skylights uh, and, and it does because the the air conditioning unit actually sits above the rear skylight um, so you, you lose that skylight completely uh, and that's where the air conditioning system actually lives on top and underneath. Uh, if you can imagine it's a bit like a sandwich and basically one half the unit's on, or below one's in and it uh, comes over where that actual light is. I hope that answers that question for you Alan. Is it possible to completely remove the back seats on a California? I, I get asked this a lot of the time uh, on this and Caravel as well. You can remove the seating in the California Ocean. This is a two seat bench we're talking about. Uh, it is uh, it is movable. Um, but it's not really something which is, is designed or, or implemented for, for you as a, uh, as a customer, as an owner to do yourself. Um, it, it's the weight of that two seat bench, I'll give you an idea for us to take them out. We're usually four of us from the workshop that's in the workshop. I usually give them a hand with it. Uh, who actually pull the seat out and take it out. Uh, so it's, it, it does come out, um, but it's not something that uh, you, you'd want to be doing. You've got to be very, very careful when you do because uh, obviously you don't want to damage any of the flooring or anything like that that's in there and it's usually something we remove when for some reason we've got to get to access to other things uh, that's in there that's, uh, that needs something doing uh, on the vehicle so yes it is removable uh, however I strongly advise against uh, ever removing it uh, yourself so. got a question about uh, full size spare wheel uh, so the 6.1 uh, always comes with a spare wheel that is standard um, unless you upgrade to an 18 inch wheel so if you get the bigger wheel you then lose the spare wheel because the uh, spare wheel capacity uh, underneath the vehicle uh, is limited to a 17 inch uh, steel wheel so that's that's the biggest size it would go through so you can't won't fit an 18 inch uh, under there so then you get a tire inflation kit uh, instead um, now we have some customers who have gone for 18 inch wheels we then asked us to supply 17 inch uh, and you can buy the cradle and the wheel and we can put everything as it would be uh, so that you still got a, um, a spare wheel if you want to which is quite a popular option uh, it's a couple of hundred pound by the time you bought the wheel and the cradle and things it's there uh, but as you can imagine if you are you know if you're in the middle of nowhere uh, having a spare wheel can be quite a um, can be quite a big thing uh, to have in it. Uh, obviously, you know, generally speaking, that wheel can go on the vehicle, but it's a bit like a space saver. That's the way you've got to treat it. So if you've got 18 inch wheels on your vehicle and you put a, a 17 inch one that's on there, obviously it's rolling road is going to be different um, to the rest of the wheels. Uh, so like with a space saver, which works the same way pretty much, um, that's on there, you're obviously limited to the speed which you can do. Most space savers are under 50 miles an hour. Uh, so if you did do that, for example, you would obviously from a, uh, a vehicle that is a, a, an emergency, it's to get you to where you need to go. Uh, one question from Rich, and I do have a bit of an apology as well, because uh, I think you posted this comment twice. Uh, Rich is a bit concerned 
concerned that the uh, fumes from his auxiliary heater uh, could be going into his driveway awning. Uh, and is there any way around this? Um, you are right, uh, there is a possibility of them going into your, your driveway awning because the exhaust vent uh, from underneath the vehicle uh, as it comes out is near to your exhaust system. Uh, so obviously if you've got exhaust fumes coming out underneath the vehicle, depending on where the wind is blowing that's under the vehicle, those could uh, come into the uh, into the awning uh, as it goes underneath the, uh, the side of it. Now normally obviously you're um, on the side where the awning is connected, there are things at the bottom of the vehicle where the awning set is uh, and that will prevent a lot of things going in. Uh, but you know your, your, your awning on the side isn't a sealed unit. So any of you guys out there know something which you can do for that or that you've used in the past, uh, I'd love to hear it. Uh, pop it in the comments box below so obviously we could pass that then on to Rich and uh, let him uh, have a look from on there as well. Uh, we are shortly going to be doing a video actually uh, of the underneath of the vehicle so I'm going to get one in the air uh, in our workshop from here we're going to film underneath it uh, and show you where all the things are so uh, when we can do that as well we can show you where that exhaust, exhaust port is uh, for the uh, for the heating system for the auxiliary heating system as well uh, and show you where that comes out. I don't really think I'm helping you out there Rich with, with that question but um, I suppose other alternatives to being if you've got your awning up chances are you're probably on a campsite rather than just parked up on the side of it so uh, if that's the case for example you may have electrical hookup uh, if you've got electrical hookup uh, I think I've said this before you can just get uh, I've got a couple of customers who've got these small portable fans uh, rather than using the diesel heater and they just put a small portable fan plug it into the electrics and turn that on just to give a bit of heat uh, and you can do that in awnings as well so I suppose that's another alternative as well but uh, be glad to hear if anybody's got any suggestions from on that that will be uh, will be great as well. John's asked about the upgraded uh, starter battery which is an option on the, on the vehicle. I think it says upgraded starter battery and alternator. Uh, the alternator is upgraded anyway that's part of the standard feature on the uh, on the vehicle uh, but basically all that you're paying for on that the upgraded starter motor is a larger amperage battery that's on the uh, on the starter so in theory what that's going to do is it's going to mean you've got longer when you're actually not driving the vehicle um, so that vehicle's got a bigger charge and it's for starting so I suppose the idea is if you haven't started your vehicle for a couple of days uh, that's in there you've got uh, you've got longer without having to start that battery because it's a bigger uh, capacity battery uh, that's my understanding of it so I hope that answers that question for you uh, so David asked about the painted door handles uh, uh, I'm assuming you're referring to the California Grand uh, on the California Grand all the door handles come in black uh, there's no option at the moment for them to be uh, color coded uh, I believe that's a crossover from Crafter uh, which is what the vehicle's built on because with that particular vehicle they're not color coded either and then Christopher's asked does this 6.1 uh, canvas window have a fly screen? Uh, no it doesn't. Uh, within the fly, the main canvas window, the big window, when you open the whole thing up, uh, there's no screen or anything which fits in there. Uh, obviously you have got the smaller one which you can open and that has got the built-in uh, fly screen into that particular one, but the, we, they don't currently do one for the big opening. So Tony had asked about how sales were going on the California Ocean and Coast, uh, and I'm assuming you're meaning as in uh, the split between the two. We're going to be doing a recap on the California coast and ocean uh, to compare the models so we can talk a bit more at length about that. Well I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, we have had a few more comments about things which I'm currently investigating uh, so I'm waiting for answers back from Volkswagen over uh, and those obviously we'll either put into the next Q&A uh, or alternatively if we get the answers back I'll just message you direct uh, off there as well. So keep those questions coming. Uh, we do I like doing the Q&A sessions. Uh, it's a lot better for us. We do prefer to tell you in this format rather than replying to all of the uh, all of your comments as you can imagine it takes quite a lot the time to type out those out and uh, and between us as well we often feel that um, uh, sometimes we're typing it actually what we're trying to explain gets a bit missed uh, in uh, in the communication side of things and how to explain things so um, so keep them coming uh, we'll keep doing these Q&A sessions as well uh, if you have enjoyed today's video it's been a lot of me just talking again but I uh, uh, hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a thumbs up give us a like uh, if you don't subscribe please subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time